Hello YouTube, this is a beer review of O'Fallon Vanilla Pumpkin Beer. I know, fairly early in the season by the time that this is being videotaped, but it sounded interesting. I'm a fan of vanilla, so I just decided to give it a try. Alright, real quick here. This is vanilla flavored pumpkin beer. We love beer, we love beer. Now nah, that's about the end of that. So, not a whole lot to be said about the label. No smoke. There we are. It has a nice tight lace to it. But a head that disappears fairly quickly. And completely. It is a nice brown pumpkiny orange. With plenty of carbonation. Now the interesting thing is it doesn't smell quite like pumpkin. It smells more squash-like. Which simply, at least to my mind, sounds more like, or gives the impression that it is actual pumpkin. Many of the uh, cans, uh, pumpkin purees out there, tend to be nothing more than some pumpkin and a lot of other squashes to help give it flavor. Pumpkin has very little flavor to it. You'd be surprised. But I get no vanilla. There is a lot of squash to it. Hint of pumpkin. Hint of, well, more than a hint. Uh... Half of the, what you're tasting is the beer itself, which seems like a nice uh, light ale. And there is a uniting taste to it, and I'd have to say that is the vanilla. Yes. The vanilla takes off the edges gets rid of some of that bitter hoppiness that you would expect and then uh, kind of wraps it all together and kind of completes the whole thing because I believe if you didn't have that vanilla and you just had the, the the pumpkin straight that it would taste pretty much like squash that you poured a beer over even if it's a good beer it would not be all that all that tasty As a beer total, combined at all, it is nice. It's definitely unique. Um, it's really hot right now. It's not quite, it's, we're not even into fall yet. I'm surprised that this was even on the shelf I, at the time of the video, of course. So I think it's more the cold. And the lightness of the flavor is what's making it an appealing beer rather than the pumpkin, vanilla, and the, the, the beer flavor all together itself. So as a standalone, I think I'm just pretty much repeating myself, as, as a standalone, it, it's, it's not bad. It's really not, not a bad beer. I'm a little disheartened that the, the head has gone so fast. It was a nice tight lace, and it just, boom, gone. I wish there was a bit more vanilla flavor to it, but then again, I am a fan of vanilla. The amount of vanilla that I have in it is nice. It takes off all the edges. It wraps everything all together with a nice bow. That's great, but I just would like a little bit more. The squash, eh, well, it's pumpkin. It says pumpkin on it, so can't exactly deny that squash pumpkin-y in it. And it has a nice short hang time. 
with that, it encourages you to take another sip, probably sooner than you really should, which is fine in its own right. But as, as a beer goes, especially as a pumpkin beer goes, it's not bad. I think what carries it over the edge is the vanilla. Try yourself. See what you think. This is O'Fallon's Vanilla Pumpkin Beer. Uh, any comments down below will be warmly accepted about this particular product. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself, and review it. And let the rest of us in the YouTube Spirits community know your thoughts about O'Fallon Pumpkin Van excuse me, Vanilla Beer. And we'll see what you guys think. Like I said, not bad. Probably would have been better if it would be in the fall with all the rest of the beers, rest of the pumpkin beers. I think we have this a little too early to fully appreciate it, but what you gonna do? Until next time, guys, keep on drinking.